the personalized aspect of it is the part that I find most interesting, particularly when you do metabolomics. It's really close to the ground truth, um, the physiology of some, someone's body. So if they've had you know, coffee before they gave blood, you might see a huge spike in caffeine and we know that they drank coffee before they gave blood even though they're not supposed to. Or if you like a particular um, flavor of coffee beans that's, and there are some chemicals that are found only in that brand or that kind of coffee bean, we might be able to see that in your metabolomics data. If you're into gardening and you're using pesticides of some sort, or if you live near a farm and are exposed to pesticides, we might be able to see that in your metabolomics data. So it's really cool. You can, you can sort of start to make these hypotheses about someone's life. Here's what they might have eaten. Here's, what, here's where they might be living. And of course, you have to sort of back it up with food logs and kind of talking to that person. But it's, it's really incredible how much information there is in that data, how rich it is. You can see drugs, derivatives of any medicines people are taking. And so then it um, underscores how important it is also to protect this data and to protect this information and to sort of, you know, um, keep tabs on where it goes and how it's shared.